Hey guys, it's the Wild 60 here, and today I'm going to bring you the Ubuntu Developer Preview uh, installation process on the Sprint Galaxy Nexus, and I'm assuming it's pretty similar on the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. So you can try it out on your Verizon Galaxy Nexus, and you know, leave a comment if it worked for you. So, first thing you're going to want to do is download the files in the description. There's uh, two files, one of them is massive, I think close to 500 megabytes, one of them is small, about 40 megabytes or so. And so what you're going to want to do is go into your recovery here, you're going to want to uh, make sure the first thing you do, you have to do this or else you won't be able to get back into Android. Uh, you're going to want to back up whatever you have. Whatever recovery you have, just back up everything. And then go into uh, wipe or whatever you have on your recovery. Uh, go into you know factory reset. Reset the entire phone. You need to wipe everything. Uh, and then uh, you're going to want to go and install it. So navigate to the folder that has it. The first one you're going to want to install is the Toro Plus Ubuntu.zip and you're going to want to install then after, flash after that the Quantal pre-installed phablet blah 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 blah. Okay, so do those in that order and then just install. And then uh you know, I'll I'll come back after this uh after this process is done. It's going to take a while. So, the entire process finished up. It took a pretty long time, so don't be worried if it's taking a while. That's just what happens. I suggest you plug in if, you're, um, if your Nexus is below 30% power. I would just say plug in. It probably won't drain that much, but just make sure you've got power. Um, so what you're going to want to do now is just reboot the system. And then you'll have a black screen for a moment here after this. And then it should come up. Okay, here we are. Uh, so yeah, I had to cut there for a second and I wanted to make sure it wasn't broken. Um, it will look like it's not working, but it is. Uh, I actually have no idea how to use this whatsoever. Uh, that's kind of weird though, because I don't have any tweets. Okay, here we go. Swipe in from this side. You've got your apps and such. And you know, I'll go over... I have no idea how to use this. I'll have a review of this um, later. Uh, as I said, I, I haven't toyed around with it at all. But that's really all it is. All you've got to do is reboot. Remember when it's rebooting for the first time, or when it's booting for the first time, it might seem like it's broken, but it, it, uh, it isn't. It's probably fine. It just takes a second there. So I'll upload a review later. And uh, if you have any problems, just try comment, just commenting, and uh, try commenting, and I will respond to you. So uh, thanks. Uh, like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff.